president for their reps. They are the ones that call the heads of both of them at their schools, working on school policies and their school leadership teams. Um, they take in on the next role of being leaders within their school districts or at the high school level um, at the borough at the borough level. So you won't find a, a group of parents who know more about what's actually going on in our school system than the parents in this room. Right? So they're, because they're there, they're in their schools, they're working really hard. So I thought it was really important to say who we are. That said, I'm going to go on to my favorite topic, which has been a source of my greatest frustration. Um, when we had the meeting, I know, part of the lab, which we talked about now, we had a long time problem with the lack of um, the ability to basically the high school structure. Um, I mentioned this in a meet and greet. We requested to have a meeting with you. I know you want to try to arrange it, but have not gotten any traction from your office. We would still welcome that opportunity to just talk about the high school structure as it exists. Because for high schools, it is really not working. And I can't emphasize that enough. There is right now nobody in charge of high schools at the DOE. There is no way to have conversations with principals and teachers to talk about the issues. That, that face high schools, be it special needs students, be it infrastructure, be it the lack of training for, um, for, for parents, be it uh, you know, any, any subject under the sun, capital plan, anything. There's, there's no mechanism right now for those discussions. And so just as an example, and I'm going to use this again because this, this one breaks my heart. It continues to break my heart. I think this is a, a huge social justice issue. I brought it up when we were here last time, which is a lack of sites for staff in the art of testing. The College Board moved this August test, moved their January test date to August. It is now across the country the most popular testing day. It's August, anybody involved in high schools, why that would be true. We tried for one year as parent leaders to try to get the DOE to understand the issue. Um, and I will tell you, we talked to uh, we talked to went to the DLT, we went to the high school subcommittee, we went to the chancellor's office. We went to your face. We went, I didn't mention it to you when I, when I saw you, but I, just for the folks in this room, I, know, I just want to give, because the numbers are out now, they know how many sites there are. I know, but I'm going to finish this affects 10 to 7. This affects every junior. Right now, for the August test site within New York City, there are only 14 sites. There are zero on Staten Island. Compare that to October, where there are 58 sites in New York City. This is a social justice issue because people who live in poverty cannot afford to take to to, to to get to New Jersey to take the test. This affects every junior in the system. And my point in bringing this up is this is an example of how the high school structure isn't working. How I mean, you can't have discussion and have action. So I'm bringing, I'm giving you this again. Yeah, and then we do. two minutes, everybody. I know. I thought, I thought, oh, yeah. uh, you mentioned the specialized high schools. I went to the specialized high school 41 years ago. And the testing today is so different from back then. Back then, when I took the test, nobody was getting cracked. Today, everybody seems to be getting cracked. And the test to me seems unfair, also that way. They had 57 questions, 17 were dummy questions. And the test was timed. Our kids now are taking math in ELA untimed. So that test is very unfair the way it is made today. And that's all I want to point out here. OK, so two big questions. And I'm sorry you may not all get an opportunity because you're going to take a little bit of time. Uh, so first and foremost, a couple of things just to be really transparent about me and my schedule. I started my day at 4.30 this morning. Responding to emails, reading.